Good morning, it's Thursday. Uh, a very random time to start vlogging, I know, but as a lot of you guys recommended um, since my last video, I did take a nice break, like six to seven days, so basically a week. I went abroad for my friend's wedding, which was fantastic. And I did intend to study a little bit, but actually because it was so jam-packed and because I was trying to spend as much time with her and my other friends and my boyfriend and just sightseeing and doing all the things I really ended up basically not studying at all so I think I did maybe like 10 questions I tried to study at least on the plane because the flight was so long and I did do Anki cards because I'm just so used to doing Anki every day now and it's kind of like an easy little thing to click through so I almost like don't really consider it studying anymore that's all I did so I basically ended up taking a uh, week-long break and I feel good. I feel like I came back with uh, definitely a lot more energy. I feel refreshed and because of that I feel like I am ready to grind again and put in a lot of hours and work hard. So I'm very motivated so I'm excited and I'm hoping that this will yield me those results that have been elusive up until now. So as an update on what's going on right now, um, basically the last time I think I talked to you guys I was I took the comm say and I did fine enough. I want to do better, but um, I think I did fine enough to where in these next two weeks I should be able to bring my score up, especially focusing a lot more on OMM and OPP because out of all the sections, that was my lowest. And so I think if I could really put in the time instead of just reviewing that info for like a week, like two, three years worth of info, in a week and trying to take this exam, actually watch the videos, take notes, look on my manual, remember all the positions and stuff. Um, I think if I could get that score up a lot, I should be exactly where I wanna be. So I did keep that exam date and that exam date is at the end of this month. So it's coming up really soon. But I did push back my step and I do have pretty much all of July free because I don't have a sub eye. So I am like what else would I be doing with that month if I just took step at the end of this month, you know? So I feel like I'm gonna take Comlux, um, really focus on that within the next two weeks and like E-World and all the other stuff, but like take Comlux, have that on my head and then have a whole month to prepare and only focus on step-like questions. So I feel like that might work better for me. Oh, and the other thing is uh, I'm still not even done with rotations. This is <laughs> technically my last week, so I haven't even started dedicated yet. Yesterday was our last day on pediatrics. Today I have off, which I'm going to take advantage of. And tomorrow is my last comat, so my last shelf for pediatrics. And then I'll officially be in dedicated. Um, so it feels like I've been grinding like I am in dedicated, but I haven't been because I've been at the hospital almost every day. But so back to today. So today I have the full day off because usually we get the day off before the shelf. And so what I want to do is we got um two free not free but two true learn assessments from the school because they provided us with the true learn question bank and they provide us with the practice assessments so since i have the entire day i think i'm going to try and take the first assessment it's 180 questions so it's going to take a while um that's why i want to take advantage of it now because i wouldn't really be able to do it tomorrow with the comat or on the weekend where i'd have to carve out like five to six hours and i don't know if i want to do that um, so I'm gonna take it today and I was just reviewing some of my OMM um, again and I was watching the dirty medicine videos so yeah I feel like that's a good use of today and I'll let you guys know how it's all going and also thank you to everyone that um, commented and left me lovely notes and gave me advice on what to do um, it was really nice to hear from you guys it was really nice to feel supported it was nice to feel like I wasn't alone that a lot of people are going through it um, I just want you to know that I did take your advice and I did take a break and I feel a lot better and this is in big part to a lot of what you guys recommended. So thank you so much. Good morning. I forgot to come back and say how the assessment went. I updated it on TikTok if you don't follow me there. Sometimes I forget to film on this and I post a TikTok instead, which I did in this case, but it went all right. There definitely still is room for improvement, but I think in the percentage correct, with every exam, I've been going up little by little, and I'm currently working through it right now, and I have, I'm have i making Anki cards, so it's just a long process of reviewing. And then in 10 minutes, I have my last shelf slash comat for pediatrics, so I'm gonna um, keep making the cards, and I'm gonna take my exam, finish making my cards, and then 
Uh, see what else I have to do today. Hello, today's an exciting day because I am going apartment hunting. I'm 28 and I've never lived by myself because I love living with roommates and my friends. So, but fourth year for a medical student is when you hop around hospital to hospital, different cities, different states, but lucky for me, the first part of the year for my rotations, I'm going to be, for, for the most part, in one location. So I am going to be able to get a six month lease and um, have that carry me through all of my rotations in the um, end part of this year, which is fantastic because I don't have to pay extra for Airbnbs and I won't have to month to month keep trying to find a new place to live. Um, so I have six apartments set up for today um, to go see hopefully all back to back so it should only take the first part of the day i also thought that i was going to be a new york girl next year but it's looking like i'm going to be staying in jersey but still close to new york and i'm totally fine with that so i am really excited to go see this apartment they all look really nice and i'm going to take you guys along and hopefully by the end of today i will have a better idea of where i'm going to be next year Okay, so so far I'm three apartments in and it's honestly gonna be hard to pick because all of them are basically within the same price range, like 50 to to $100 off and all of them have very nice amenities. All of them are, for the most part, like brand new builds or like haven't been up for that long and I've liked all of them so far. It's been a fun day, I kinda like apartment hunting. This is the first section for today. Alright, one new learn exam, one true learn exam. Oh. A quick update on how dedicated it is going. It's been going pretty well. Um, granted, it's only day three, but I feel like Monday I was able to do 120 questions. Yesterday I was able to do 140 questions, plus review them, make my cards, and all that stuff. So I think having this extra time without having to be at the hospital for eight hours is already very palpable. And I feel like, I just feel like mentally I'm more in the zone to take an exam versus before when I was working and trying to study, it was like my priority was still doing my best at work, so that's where all my attention was. So I think it's going well, but we won't really know until I take another assessment. And also there's only, what, two weeks left of this month, which means that I'm moving out soon. I'm hopefully getting close to signing a lease on a new apartment, and um, I did pick an apartment that I really like. So hopefully I can get that all situated away because I'm gonna have to be moving all my stuff in basically a week. So a lot of things happening, but I feel good mentally, emotionally. Rochelle's here, as you have seen. She's been super motivating for me, so it's really nice having her here. And we're about to go hit up another cafe and go study and do our questions. So happy with how it's going so far. Three miles with Rochelle. This is what it gets you. All the sweat. <laughs> Rochelle's New Jersey coffee shop tour continues. Monkey banana latte. I am getting ready to take my second and hopefully last 
comms today. 450 is what we needed to clear to be able to sit for Comlex 2, and I got that with the last exam. It's now been like three weeks since, so I hope that I ironed out all the things that I missed on the last, or the things that brought me down on the last Comse, and majority of that was OMM, so I'm hoping that if I can bring OMM up enough, I will get a good enough score. And then my actual Comlex is now in a week, so. I hope I do well today so I don't have to freak out a week before I take the real thing. Last section to go and I'm honestly so bored of doing questions at this point. I am taking forever to start this last section because I don't want to. The day after taking practice exams, it's always so hard for me to force myself to do any more practice questions. The next day, not the day of, but even the next day. It's like the next day is my recovery from the practice exam that I just took. So today I did exactly 27 questions. That's it. It's now one in the morning and I'm just trying to finish this one set of 40 questions. That's how everything's going right now. Hello from my new apartment. I am very fortunate. I just moved all my stuff today with the help of my family and I'm very fortunate that for the next six months I'm going to be staying in one place for fourth year as long as I pass boards because all of my rotations are going to be all around this area and so I got a little studio apartment. This is my first time living on my own. I just finished organizing everything. This is going to be the shortest room tour considering I got a studio. I will do the quickest spin around of my setup now. And that's it. There's so much space. I was actually thinking about getting a one bedroom so I could separate my bed from the kitchen and all of that, but there's so much space that I don't know what to do with it. I don't have enough furniture to like furnish all of this. And I'm so excited, it came together so nicely. I'm about to head to the gym and work out at the gym for the first time. The gym is really nice. So I have very high hopes for the next six months. Again, as long as I pass boards. So I'm on the terminal walking because I'm trying to tire myself out because my bedtime lately has been like 2 in the morning and I have to be up at 7 in the morning to take Comlex tomorrow at 8 a.m. So I'm trying my best to like get myself to go to bed at 10 p.m. today or around there. I'm doing a little bit of review, doing the high yield rapid review like little table at the back of the USMLE Step 2 book. That's what I did when I was taking Comlex 1 and Step 1. It basically feels like I'm doing Anki cards, but just like a different format because I get tired of Anki cards and it's just very like quick little buzzwords. Then I'm gonna review the cheat sheet that I made for all the OMM, Chapman's points, Mr. Somatics, ribs, all that stuff. And then I'm gonna call it a day and I can't believe I'm taking Comlex 2 tomorrow, another board exam. Hope it goes well and I'm excited to get it over with.